Weather Authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Hey everybody, temperatures today still on the cool side. 55 is where we should be. We've bumped up a little bit. We're actually at the high of the day right now at 44, and 34 was our low early this morning. We didn't get any real measurable rain here after midnight. Some of you did, and I even saw a few snowflakes driving home last night, a little around midnight or so, but not anything measurable here. Typically, this month will produce 4.8 inches of rain. It tends to be a little bit higher because we tend to see more thunderstorms developing this time of the year. Luckily, we don't see anything like that in the near future. Wabash River is going Going up 16.5 is flood stage. We're just at about 18 feet. Going to go up a little higher than should stabilize and come back down with no more heavy rain in the forecast for a few days, which will be some good news. What are we tracking? We're going to be cold night tonight. A few showers on Saturday, but nothing major. Sunday will be the better weekend day. And then an active pattern next week. Active as in busy, not so much severe weather, but uh, we're going to see three or four systems come through pretty quickly as we head into next week. In Terre Haute right now, we're at 43 degrees. The winds are light, though. That's helping us out, and the pressure is back up to 30.16 after being very low just a couple days ago with that big storm. Temperatures are cool pretty much in the 40s everywhere. 42 up in Paris. It's 42 down in Robinson. So these numbers, again, a little bit below where they should be this time of the year. The winds are not real strong. That's good news. Kind of light in from the northwest, maybe 5 to 8 miles per hour on the water vapor satellite. Deeper moisture west of here, and that's what will be moving in as we head into the day with tomorrow with increasing cloud cover, and eventually some rain chances will be moving in with that as well. Overall tonight, clouds now are kind of breaking up and moving out. We'll see that trend continue. On the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar, nothing showing up, and we don't expect anything for a while. Time this out for you. Nothing tonight. Nothing early tomorrow. And even when we get something tomorrow, it doesn't look major. So as we get into late afternoon or late morning, early afternoon, say around 2 o'clock, a few light showers will start to move in. Those will pass on through. Again, nothing big out of that as far as heavy rainfall. All of that should be gone probably before it gets dark tomorrow night, then dry weather tomorrow night. Sunday's your better weekend day because we'll have more sunshine. It'll be a little bit warmer, no rain chances. So Sunday looks like a better day just because of that. Rainfall, not anything major. I think most areas will probably be under a quarter of an inch and maybe a lot under a quarter. So look at that. We're not talking about anything huge for Saturday. The wind also. It'll pick up some Saturday afternoon briefly right there, and then it will go back to the west-northwest briefly before going back to the south again. But the strongest winds will happen tomorrow afternoon before that system moves in. So after that, as we get into the day coming up on Monday, just a few light showers, nothing major. The biggest system, and it doesn't look great, is right here about Wednesday. And then behind that, yet another system wraps in on Friday. So none of these look like monster storms, but they're going to be active next week. Temperature-wise, you'll see the blue that indicates the cooler air, the surge of the coldest air. I think will be a week from today or right there you see that move in but there is some good news a little bit longer term wanted to show you this this is now april 9 to 15 i think after we hit about april 10 we see a little change and look at that back to maybe above normal temperatures here so we got several days but after that we should see some even warmer weather move in so here's your forecast for tonight then skies become partly cloudy 31 for the overnight low during the day tomorrow some showers late morning, early afternoon. Nothing major, though. 55, so not bad on the temperature. After that, then, we see a chance of some nice weather as we head into the upcoming period as we head into Sunday and Monday. Showers on Tuesday. Wednesday, overall temperatures are pretty good. The coolest day next Friday at 45. That's your forecast. Sports coming up right after the break. On May 3rd, we have the opportunity.